you're, you're a young businessman. You're, you're not just putting your own name on as a big move here as a young businessman, but also the legacy of your, your family's it's, name. It, it, it's our family, three generations, multiple people, this generation working at the company. And we, we put that online. We put our shareholders online. And, and this is a good decision. It's one that we feel great about. So, you know, whatever people want to ask us, I'm, I'm happy to sit here. Ross and I, all the time, you guys, we'll answer it. But we're cool. excited about what we got. Cool. We've got four more callers, one more break to do. Let, let's refill our beers. Man, you're drinking that Stone 420. Yeah, doggy. Yeah, Enjoy it. by Chill. 420. Taste it. My point being, though, just don't make us look a fool. I love everything you're saying. A year from now, I want to have you guys back and, and celebrate the, the successes you had over the past 12 months. Okay? And we will do that. We, we're coming back with your calls. Hydro Yo, Ryan, Cyclops, and Kyle? Did they spell Kyle K-I-A-L? I think it's K-Y-L-E. Is, is Chet on the line? Shout out to Chet. Hey, <laughs> Callie Breeze, how, how long did it take you to get your GDE? Yeah, bro. That's not a real, real thing. Anyways, have a D's Grow Show, DFC Radio. Dot com. seen the new kind new drink from Botanicare? It's kind of a big thing. Uh, no. What's up with that? Well, I was totally pulling a Dawn Patrol, chilling with some honeys, when this troll is like, yo, I heard your garden is total weak sauce. And I was like, as if, my garden is hella gnarly and bodacious. And then he was like, brah, if you want your stuff to be like Mondo Narnar, you need to hook up with Botanicare's kind nutrients. Okay, would you be so kind as to tell me what you're talking about? Only the most bitchin' nutrients to shred a grow since the invention of water, bruh. Kind is on the serious, bruh. There's one part base, one part grow, and one part bloom. Kind is super rad because it's completely customizable so you can use it with any type of plant and medium, bruh. And what's wicked, boss, is that the proprietary kind formulas eliminate the need to add separate calcium and magnesium supplements to compensate for water quality or specific grow medium. Uh, rad. That sounds like my kind of base nutrient. Totally. And Kind Grow has all these primo minerals and like super top secret blend of natural stuff so you can get a seriously lush canopy, right? And with the Kind Bloom, you get like this major hookup of phosphorus and potassium, but like in a totally righteous proportion so you get increased biomass and flower initiation. And what's even more awesome is you can adjust the levels of base, grow, and bloom to meet the needs of your medium, plants, and growth stage. You could say it's for any kind you grow. It's totally sweet. It was very kind of you to tell me about this. So I should, like, totally hop in my woody and cruise down to my local hydro hookup and score some kind nutrients from Botanicare? Like what? New from Botanicare. Kind base, grow, and bloom. The fully customizable line of nutrients developed for the modern grower. For more information, contact your local hydro store or go online to Botanicare.com. What kind will you grow? That was a joke. And then, and then I like said, hit me up when you're calories. ready. Hit me up when you're ready. You're like Nachos Bel Grande, 400 calories. I don't eat Nachos <laughs> Bel Grande, but I, I do have a cookbook on how to make numerous under 400 calorie recipes, which hence. Hi, and welcome to Nonspecific Hydro. Yeah, hey, I have a buddy of mine that was telling me about a great additive. Okay, do you remember the name? Uh, yeah, his name's Steve. He's a good buddy. No, no, the product. No, he told me it was a super concentrated organic enhancer. Comes in a yellow bottle. 
Well, it sounds like he's talking about Florilicious Plus from General Hydroponics. I don't think that was the name, but he also told me it was a vegan bioplant stimulator that contained vitamins, plant sugars, amino acids, seaweed extract. Yeah, that would be General Hydroponics Florilicious Plus. I don't think that's it, man. He told me it was something like Dora Vicious Flush or something, and he said it was like an organic supplement that could also be used in vegging or flowering and that was compatible with hydro soil and cocoa. Yes, that would be General Hydroponics Florilicious Plus. Oh, hey, man. I just remembered what it's called. It's Florilicious Plus. Oh, good. I was drawing a blank. Florilicious Plus from General Hydroponics. Ask for it by name. What's up, everybody? You're listening to Heavy Tea Grow Show. La, 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 la. <laughs> Hey, Dr. Duff, are you signing up for another one of those internet dating sites after your divorce? No, nah, I'm just ordering these freaking uh, douchebags from China here. Just going to be saving a lot of money on it. About a buck a bag. Did, did you say douchebags? Yeah, they're pots. They're fabric pots. They're, uh, you know, made in China. You know, they save a dollar a bag from all the other... Oh, it sounds like an imitation smart pot or something. Yeah, yeah, save a dollar, but, you know, I'm pretty sure these douchebags are going to work. Dude, I had a buddy of mine who used those same douchebags. He bought them direct from China. It killed his whole garden. Uh, bro, what? So I'm better off spending that extra dollar on a smart pot? I'd get a smart pot. <sighs> Don't be a duff man. Make sure to buy the original patented smart pot. Check them out at smartpots.com. Nobody's safe with Dr. Duff lurking around the fucking expo. Nobody's safe. Run for your lives! It's the Terminator! No, no, it's not the Terminator, it's the Terpinator! Oh, wow, what's that? Oh, you haven't heard? You have to try this stuff. The Terpinator is the newest creation from Rhizoflora Incorporated. It's the one and only product on the market that has proven to increase the concentration of terpenes in your aromatic plant oils and glands. How does this terpenator work? The terpenator works by utilizing fundamental plant metabolites through a proprietary reaction that catalyzes the increase in terpene production. Its unique composition provides the basic building blocks plants are required to produce flavorful oils and a significant increase in terpenes, which will increase your aromas and flavor. Nice. I bet with all the increase in terpene content, your plants must just be covered in resins. Oh man, I'm currently using products right now that's designed to increase the resins. Should I swap them out? Well, that's correct. Terpenator works great alongside other products, but it's the only product out there that is going to give you a higher terpene content. Having a higher terpene content means bigger glands and increasing gland sites, which makes a dramatic difference in appearance as well as more pungent odors. Terpenes are not only your aromatic plant oils, but your plant's genetic fingerprint as well. Those terpenes boost your plant's natural defense mechanism against insects and mold. I really want to try this product. Does it have any harmful chemicals or PGRs? Heck no. The Terpenator utilizes only organic inputs and produces notably amazing results in a matter of weeks. It is both a soil and hydroponic system friendly fertilizer that is compatible with any nutrient line out there. It is recommended to use this product during your entire flowering cycle starting from the first week of bloom at 15 milliliters however there has been a lot of feedback of people getting amazing results when bumping it up to 30 milliliters per gallon the last three weeks of bloom wow this is the ultimate game changer dude i have to get terpenator how do i get this stuff to increase dry weight smell taste and a complete overall quality of your flowers go to www.terpenator.com and make it triple a today It must be Wednesday, because you're listening to Heavy Tea's Grow Show. And now, a grow tip with Heavy Tea. As summer approaches, heat's going to become a problem for most indoor growers. Make sure all your controllers, fans, and ventilation ducts are in working order. You may want to install an air conditioner to control your temperature throughout the entire hot season. Hydroponic growers can add a water chiller to make sure the nutrient solution stays at the optimum temperature. The addition of a water-cooled humidifier can significantly reduce the ambient air temperature as well. This is Heavy Tea reminding you to grow responsibly. For more grow tips, go to dfcradio.com. DFCRadio.com
sublime. It's enjoyable to know you in the concubines. Take off your coats, ladies act like gems. Sit down, Indian styles, you recite these hymns. See, lyrically, I'm Mario Andretti on the Momo. Ludicrously speedy or infectious with the slow mo. Heard me in the 80s, JV's on the promo. Him, I never end the quest to get the paper on the caper. But now, let me take it to the queen side. I'm taking it to Brooklyn side. All the residential questions who invade the air. Hold up a second, son, cause we almost there. You could be a black man and lose all your soul. You could be white and blue, but don't prep the road. See, my truth is universal if you got knowledge of all or of Delta myself. See, there's no one else who could drop it on the angle. It's cute at that. So, who that, do that, do that, that, that. Come on. Who that, do that, do that, that, that. Yeah. Who that, do that, do that, that, that. I'm bugging out, but let me get back because the way it's. What up? Welcome back. Heavy T's draining the main vein. I'm in here. Looks like Dr. Duff's going to probably take his seat. What's up, man? We are uh, here. Who let him off the leash? We're having a discussion with Hawthorne Group and General Hydroponics in studio tonight, like we promised you from the beginning. Yep. We've had lots and Vermicrop. We've had lots of uh, great calls tonight. We've had lots of people with questions. I think the questions have been solidly answered. No, we, I don't think so. We, we have four more people calling I on disagree. the line, so I'm going to go over and... Pull up the next caller real you quick. You touch I'll be something right over back. here, I'll break this bottle <laughs> over your head. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Touch the. Go Get ahead. Touch the something. Loose. Let's see what's up. What line you go to? Ryan on line two. Oh, Ryan, line two. How you doing, Ryan? This is actually Shed. Ryan's uh, paying for the bottles of sake at Makuni, Ross's favorite restaurant, his little brother. Uh, Chet, Chet uh, Larsky. It's, uh, it's actually Chet to you. Chet. It's, it's Ch- <laughs> Chet. <laughs> Chet, <laughs> Chet is kind of a bastard's name, man. Chet's kind of like that guy that dominated soccer and like didn't let me play. Chet's the guy I definitely did, yeah, that yeah. had a bigger throw in and had a bigger I, corner kick than me. I, Chet's I the guy. And he was the older bigger, brother in that I, one weird I'm, science most movie. Most of team. everything I have is bigger than yours. <laughs> yeah, Chet. <laughs> whatever. You're king of shit island, and that's yeah. good for you, Chet. No, and I'm out. You're hey. king, your king turned to shit <laughs> island. Is yeah, whatever, bro. Right hey, I, you know, I... I no, on, honestly, kind of. No, everyone needs yeah, to stop yeah. being so nice to Ross because it's just going to go to his head. He's going to blow him up. It's, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> now, so, no, I wanted to say a couple things after I've had some sake. And, uh, just, um, uh, I, I, well, I'm not going to say what company I'm with, Grobis. But, um, <laughs> not Don't worry, Grobis. we'll bleep that on the recast tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, gardening woman. No, um, so, no uh, uh, hey, hey, Ross, congratulations. Um, Larry, congratulations. Will. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank like, you, man. Honestly, from, from the bottom of my heart, and I, I've been in this business for like probably two, three weeks now. And I think that, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is one of the, the best things that happened to us. I uh, sat through the last couple of years of uh, uh, people coming to us, uh, presenting options and offers, and and listening to a lot of public companies and the pump and dumps and all of the bad things that are bad for what happened to our industry. And, and, and I think you guys took the first step, which is the best step to uh, something positive for uh, retailers like ourselves. And I wanted to uh, say, you know, I think this is a great thing uh, for us as retailers. And I, I almost cried right there when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> It's That's probably all those V-necks you wear and all those sweater vests and shit looking like Mr. Rogers, modern-day Mr. Rogers. What is this, Mr. fucking cap and tie and knot? That's right. <laughs> this is Mr. This is Mr. T-shirt, sneakers, and jeans eating in a $2,000 plate restaurant looking like a hoodlum. Yeah, That's what I do. Not, not my chair, not my problem. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. so, so, so honestly, uh, you guys have a, like an okay show. I mean, kind of which is like pretty much. Phenomenal. You, know, you know, you know what's true about that statement? It's yeah. it's better than your show. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, yeah, you haven't seen my show yet, bro. <laughs> I- I'm doing fireball shots for my birthday with hundred millionaires. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, well, I'm he's drinking sake. Uh, he's drinking sake with a hooker. Get out, of that, get out of the restaurant with this cheap ass ball of sake. We're trying to drink outside, watching <laughs> your show, on a live stream. Just, I just wanted to see Ross. You know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah I no, oh, no, honestly, you know, congratulations. Um, I think that this is a, a, a great thing, and uh, you know, it legitimizes. Uh, what was illegitimate? That's the sake talking. What was illegitimate for a lot of people for a long time? What? Uh, in, the, in the eyes of a lot of people. So, 
Awesome. Right, we appreciate you, man. Yeah, we thank you for that. Yeah, and cheers you. to me, Horty Apocalypse 2015. Oh, my spell, Horty. Cheers to Horty and cheers to Chet. Chet. Hey, hey have you, uh, hey, Ross? What, what happened to Chet? Yes, oh, sir. Hold on, hold on, he's coming back. Hold yeah. on. Go, 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 go ahead, Grobiz. Uh, hey. Hey, Guardian Hayes for Horses Guardian Cal- Limited. Chet Cal- 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 you're having a soggy with. Hey, Ross, I think you might get in this guy a lot of Crackachinos for his birthday. Oh, Crackachinos, absolutely. <laughs> nice. Shit. Right, yeah, your little, minion, your little minion from Portland's getting torn up this weekend by me and Ryan oh, Miller. Shit. Really, bro, dude? You have nothing, dude. You guys are going down. <laughs> you guys are going down. He's, yeah. he's got a rented S6. What do you got? Be, don't threaten me. I'll come up there. Oh, he's <laughs> We're down. Oh, right. he's got everything he needs. Hey, Ryan, I appreciate you calling in. Sorry, bye. Peace. Stay safe. Later, Chet. Who's next? Uh, I don't know. Man, I'm kind of yeah. wasted. Look at you guys. Got me all wasted on the fireball. Pulled the wool over my eyes. Whoa. The Illuminati is in my studio. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder why they kept throwing up that diamond, that triangle shape. Who are, these hooded, who are these hooded motherfuckers in the green room? Yeah, why is there 15 <laughs> Suburbans outside with dudes with fucking suits on and earpieces? All I know is that Calibri's is scared to leave. <laughs> Did you guys have to land your private jet in the parking lot? <laughs> okay, come on, guys. Hey, Next look, one. here's another industry guy, Hydro Yo, from the show Hydroponic Wars. Hydro Yo, what's going on? What's up, man? What's going on, Happy Tea? Not much. You've been holding a while, dude. I've seen you on Instagram, all over social media, doing big things with, with your stores and your um, show. Um, Thanks, man. Appreciate that, big bro. You, you, you have a chance now to talk with Chris, Ross, Matt, Will, Devin, St. Calibreeze. Hordy Chris, Duff myself, man. and Duffman. Yeah. What's up, fellas? What's up? Hordy Chris, big dog. What's up, man? Dog, just keeping it cracking, dog. No doubt, man. Um, Trying to live between the earth and the dirt and ain't touching the ground nowhere. <laughs> Definitely. Um, congratulations, man, to GH and um, guys at Hearthstone, man. I think um, you Thank know you. everything. Um, everything's relative to where you know someone's standing in the game and on what side of the fence. And I would just, um, you know, I definitely got to congratulate you on that big power move. Um, you know, and it's like, like you said, um, you know, this used to be an industry where you had to be invited into. And I think a big part of what we're seeing nowadays and what, you know, I came up on is uh, the social media aspect of it and uh, um, how information is exchanged and how fast it moves. Yep. And, um, like, for my comrades in the retail game, um, we just opened a new store in Alameda, Hydro Exchange. Congratulations. And, uh, even our plat- Thanks. and even our platform and the way we approach the game has to be different than what it was 10 or 20 years ago. Um, you know, with social media, I get kids and young guys in my store that I don't know how they would have found me without it. And it's like, you know, when they come in, they have ground grassroots questions. Hey, how do I set up a 4x4 <laughs> uh, four four tray and what have you. And a lot of stores, I think, used to be able to get away without addressing those needs and questions. And if you don't provide content in your store, I believe, the same way what social media is about. And that's why I'm amazed I see some of these big companies go to Max Yield show, million-dollar companies don't have a damn IG set up. And it's just amazing to me. And I'm like, um, that's where you're going to get the guys. Like, will give you a good example. When I posted the GH, um, the GH merger on my page, you, you're right. You had a lot of guys attacking or saying, you know, things that didn't put the company in the best light. But um, I will give uh, a, a salute to GH because I see those guys out on IG a lot more now. But if the company or the store is not addressing those guys on the platforms that they're on, and nowadays they're on the social media sites, if you're not out there championing your brand or your um, store, then, you know, they can run away with the conversation, and I just think that for the retailer, it's the same effect in the store, man. Nowadays, it's changing. We do uh, free grow classes. Um, I give a shout out to uh, Eric and um, Harley Smith up there with Grow University. And um, the more you do creative stuff like that, I just feel that that's going to hold the store in there because I think like what GH is doing is what you know we were all. It's confirmation of where we thought the industry was going. And you know, I mean, to use an analogy, you know, we were all sitting at this craft table, and that's what the industry used to be. Um, Shit, I lost the lease that I wanted to get because the guy heard that the store was going to be a hydroponic store. And, you know, I just was like, you know what, I'll move, uh, I'll go somewhere else with it. But it's been a whole crap table industry, and now you get some guys coming and saying, hey, I like the flow of this table, and I'm putting down 20 large and betting. And, you know, you can't get scared of that. You know, let's make some money. Let's, well, you know, so. uh, Yo has a great point because now the authorities in the matter aren't the experts that have the experience. It's the experts that have 25,000 followers. 
And those are the people that people are looking at and talking about. I see um, companies made and broke on social media. You know, and you can't police every single thing, but you can have a concise, direct message, get that out, and, and and get it out quickly if you use the right avenues. Hydro, yo, I see you all over the social media. You're basically a social media genius, player. I uh, appreciate that, man. You know, that means a lot coming from legends in the game like yourself and guys in there. Um, well, you guys I suck each other off already. Yes, you know. <laughs> is it? You know, Shit, but, uh, not, is it, you know, it's just, um, I think that's where it's going it's now, Oreo man. Cookie. And the information changes so fast, and... Um, um, I, I'm interested in just seeing where it goes and, you know, um, all the good things to come from it in the future. But um, definitely congratulations, man, and um, look forward to getting down there and seeing you guys in the studio soon. So, are, Hydro, yo, you're out at your store. Um, the Hydro Exchange, aren't you part of the Max Garden Supplies, too? Uh, no, I was briefly over there um, doing some work helping them guys okay. with um, some rebranding and stuff. But the Hydro Exchange is... Uh, so that's you. Pardon? That's you, right there, the Hydro yeah, Exchange. Yeah, that's the new shop, man, Hydro Exchange, right there in Alameda. And, um, you know, um, you can definitely follow us on IG at Hydro Exchange. Follow the reality show, Hydroponic Wars, at Hydroponic Wars on IG. We're okay. on Facebook and Twitter. Well, and uh, let me give a definitely a big shout-out, man. Check out Coco Depot. Coco Depot, right. man. Um, you know, we're definitely got... Got premium cocoa in the hold game. On, hold on, yo, I, I gotta call account executive, dog. You're getting into time. This is gonna cost you hundred bucks. Oh, uh, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, dude. What I want to ask you though, if a customer comes into your store talking a bunch of nonsense that he saw on social media and he's believing these supposed authoritative sources uh, about General Hydro, about Vermi Crop, how do you diffuse and how do you approach that uh, on a hypothetical situation? Um, well, you know, um. A lot of it is first depending on the source where he's where he's coming from with it. Because one thing about social media is, you know, it's all about content again. So you know, you can't get away BSing people. So you know, first thing I want to know is where that information is coming from. And then you know, a company like GH, they're out there taking positive strides. You know, they do certain contests and giveaways on their IG. Um, I just spoke with Ryan, good friend of mine down at GH. We just gave away uh, action two tickets to the Ryan action Coast? Bronson party. Coasty. Keep going, yo. You're on. Yeah, no, I said we just did, like, two tickets to the Action Bronson concert um, up here in the Bay. Now, you know, I don't know a lot of manufac- uh, hydroponic manufacturers giving away rap tickets to a concert. And, you know, just small stuff like that is going to, you know, give them their voice in social media. And, you know, where it's basically, you know, waving their hand out there saying, hey, we're out here on social media. We're, we're acknowledging that demographic, and that's a big part of it, man. And uh, I just direct them to the source. So to answer your question, Heavy T, when a company like General Hydroponics is out there and they have their own platform and it's relatives, I say, hey, go check them out on their page and you can DM them. And that's the beautiful thing about it. If a person has a question, they can send a message right away and, you know, get some response. And to piggyback off your question, the companies that are ignoring that, and you and like you said, you get a guy commenting some, uh, something about the product, and if you're not out there to uh, curate that information, then, you know, the conversation gets ran away with. I like to no, what, like, what I man, what I might say, yo, is show me. You have all yeah, the, these me. thoughts yeah. and, and these facts. Show me, you know. Yeah, and Talking. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. And, and for me, you've been in the industry for a long time. I've been in the industry for a long time. What I've seen is a track record that has shown me much different from a portrayal of all these haters coming through social media. Which, like we'll say, time will tell. Time will tell. And I, I look forward to revisiting this in 12 months and seeing where we stand. 12, but 24, 36, 48. Come back all the time. You come back every week, Six. player. Yeah, yeah, Shit, dog. Sure, yeah, that's on the premium sponsorship <laughs> level. You can be here every week. <laughs> that's that platinum. That platinum. You got to fly package. me around the block on that G10. Can you find a place for Devin to set up his tent? <laughs> no, Devin's not allowed, dog. Right. He's getting is too skinny. He was, he was part of the big boy crew. Now he's all skinny and shit. Yeah. He needs to get a weight bench and some whole milk. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hydro Yo, man, you are a positive influence all over the hydroponic industry. We appreciate you. And you, you tell people what is up on the real, getting through that misinformation, much like we do here. I really appreciate what you're doing, man. We should collaborate a little bit. You know, you get at me. Um, we'll do some stuff, get you in here. We'll talk about hydroponic wars and vice versa. I appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot again, and um, congratulations to all you and um, all my followers out there. Remember, check us out on Hydroponic Wars the Reality Show, and uh, check us out at the Coco Depot, man. Big things coming out there. All right, we'll check you out, man. Thanks, Thanks man. All right, Stay thanks, safe. Man. Have a good one. Peace. All right. Who Ooh, next? Yeah. Cyclops, Daytona Beach, Florida. Cyclops. Cyclops. Cyclops.
Daytona. That's a Way great place, man. Yeah, I know. I, I was there. Dude, Homeboy's been hanging for about an hour and a half. John's not here. John Perino is, uh, yeah. was a partner in Vermicraft a long time. Sorry to step over you. We, seven years ago, <laughs> in the early days of Vermicraft, you, dog. spent some time in Daytona. It's the old world. I'm just trying to get a nut. And I had to say that. We had a really good time. One of my, one of my favorite memories in the early, early seed G- germination of Vermicrop was in Daytona, and I really appreciate that. Daytona is a crazy fun yeah. place. Yo, my brother went to Daytona college down there. Yeah, <laughs> spring break. Daytona there, bike week. Woo! Oh, that, bike week. That's a great place. I anyway. thought you're not supposed to talk about your Daytona. brother went to college down there. He ain't <laughs> running no Hawthorne group. <laughs> He's in the army now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there was some joke there. Sorry, man. man. I don't even know what's going on. Don't, be, don't be apologize. I don't even know where I was at. Cyclops is not there. Cyclops. Where you at, Cyclops? He left. Try to get him back. I give him all love. He got something in his eye. Kyle. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, Chet texted me again. He said he's calling in again. Hello? Oh, oh, this, is, this isn't Chet, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is Kyle. No. Hold on, dude. We need no, to. Kyle. I'll open up the lens. The lens. Kyle. Kyle. What's up, guys? What's How going on? So you're on, you know, we're, we're, having a, we're having a good time, but we're staying serious, kind of. Go, go ahead, Kai Al. <laughs> well, I wanted to know where, That's how it's where spelled, do we right? see these steps taking them in the next, you know, three, four, five years, and what their long-term goals are with, with making this move? Well, you know, this is Chris from, uh, from Hawthorne. Our goal is to help them keep on growing. You know, we love the business they're doing now. We just want to keep on growing in the way that they have been. Um, as far as sort of long-term goals, shit, man, that's 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 a lot of Ross's deal. So, if Ross wants to answer that. Yeah, Ross, what, what are the long-term goals? You you've so, taken over the company from Larry. You're, you're I, I'm I'm just a, a student of him, but yes, I'm pretty sure that all the employees have spinner wheels on. No, <laughs> <laughs> only if they're 15s, but we keep them clean. They're getting that's crunk. Right. They're listening to E40. Ghost riding the whip nonstop. <laughs> Just kidding, dude. Just kidding. But no, what are the goals of GH over the next decade? The goals of GH and Vermicrop over the next decade are to provide the absolute best solutions to being the most successful gardener you can be. That's our that's our goal. And so so you're about making the gar- gardener successful. I'm, I'm about which making in turn the- entails your success rather than just focusing on GH's success over the consumer's interest. Our success is measured it's by to a it. plant's growth, man. Yeah. That's really what it's about. Yeah. It's about the success of the plant. If we can provide the best option to get you the best growth, whether it be a tomato, whether it be lettuce head, whatever it is you can yes. grow, if we can provide that solution for a fair price, we're going to succeed. You know, and that's what I tell my... My customers, when they come in and they immediately look at the price point, well, this guy gives me 35% off. And if I have to go into a long explanation how they raise their prices 20%, give them 35% off, and they're still paying a little bit more than what I'm charging them on a fair deal, like all this stuff, it, it is a, a, a handful. But my, my goal and what I'm trying to provide <laughs> Is not on the come up. This is what I tell them. It's like, look, I'm not trying to come up on you a couple of dollars on this sale. What I want to do is set you up to be successful because the come back is so much more profitable for a long term goal of uh, uh, as a business plan and for the customer. It's a win win. You know, if if you're yeah, trying to the sell- come back's better than the come up. If you're trying to turn chicken shit into chicken soup and sell it as chicken soup to someone, yeah, you might be able to sell them that one time, but they're not going to come back. So you want to make sure that they come back. It's at a fair price, and it works, and it's easy to use. If people are successful, they will come back to that same solution. 100%. Well, do you want a customer, or do you want a customer for life? Because GH wants a customer for life, and that's what we've been able to yep. maintain, and that's going to continue. That's awesome. And and you, you have them here, guys. I, I have to say, like, like before, that I'm thoroughly impressed with everything – um, the transparency, the, the, the way that you guys are operating the business model uh, and hopefully continue to operate it right on point. Meeting with Chris, very down-to-earth, realistic man. Uh, Thank you. Ha- has a general knowledge of the industry, going to become a lot more fine-tuned as, as it goes deeper and deeper, and working hand-in-hand hand with these guys. They there's, go deep and they go hard. There's genuity here, guys. So hard. These guys are genuine, and all that we've said all night, is just watch and see. and That's all we can expect, right? I'm putting my integrity right. on the line. Give us the opportunity. You guys putting your integrities on the line. Shop owners are doing the same for you. End users are doing the same. And I know it's appreciated, and I know it's going to be rewarded in the end.
And I just I just want to throw in there that, you know, I first met Ross in like maybe 2007, 2008. Our mutual friend Sheldon had a booth for his quantum electronic Wait, you're friends with Sheldon? Fuck Sometimes. this, dude. Fuck G.A. And, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's out. He's out. The, the, the quantum booth had enough space that they allowed Vermicrop and myself to set up our displays in their booth at that, at that particular show. I believe it was San Francisco. And I hung out with Ross over that weekend. And since that day, the way that from the time I was introduced to him, watching his company grow, watching him take over at GH, still knowing him, seeing him out there all the time, he, he never has changed to me. He was just as cool to me from day one when we were sharing a booth with Quantum to where he had his own booths and now is the CEO of GH and he's always been a down to earth guy and I've never seen him do shady business practices that would make you skeptical of someone. So, you know, I can't speak I can't speak for everyone, but I know that when I first had my first display, I was in the same booth with Ross and he's never been any different to me or anyone else that I've known of for that amount of time, even with all of his success. And I think that that's hard to do when you become successful. So, you know, that's just what it is. Watch love. Thank you, brother. <laughs> hey, I'm on my A-game acquisition, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Preach it. Trying to oh, do it. Oh, man. Hey, hey you, the squeaky wheel gets the oil, brother. Hey, <laughs> Kyle. Kayao, Florida. I appreciate you calling in, man. I'm going to send you some gifts. I'm going to send you some of those Uber nutrients, some of the FDS and RNA for a fold of your system. You want to grow that fire? Uber's got the gas. Check it out at ubergrower.com. Okay, dude? Yeah, I appreciate you guys' this time. You guys have a good night. You too, all right, too. Hey, um, all right, guys. This has been one hell of a show, but Sayonara. we do have lives outside of this studio. Um, real quick. Real quick, I'll get to both of you, but I wanted to give Will a chance um, just to tell people about the new dries that are out from Vermicrop, Vermi Organics. Thank you. J- just hit the market. Great packaging, by the way. Yeah, we appreciate that. We. Uh, it makes me remind reminds me how I was on food stamps getting that milk at. Yeah, time. it isn't a milk carton. So <laughs> are you yeah. gonna have missing children on there? <laughs> <laughs> only you, man. Only you. Chat. Just we're missing. Chat. I haven't found my yeah. way. Yeah. Yet. We're, we're Where gonna put Ryan this on there. As won't fit on missing the box. <laughs> um, yeah, the new the new dry organic line is really exciting for us. We've been developing it for over two years now. We're already bringing in the highest quality nutrients using our soil. We've been sourcing them and the most reliable sources we can find with the most sustainable practices. We're using the same dry nutrients now in these blends. And these blends, again, have been tested for two years, not only in our our research and development facility in Vermicrop uh, at GH, but in many gardens, including my own. And the results have been phenomenal. It's all organic certified in the state of California. It is a, a really amazing blend of the top quality dry news, and it's easy. It's easy for really amazing results. You top dress your water in, and uh, you can rely on that backbone of, of slow release dry so organics. Bad. Yeah, and for yeah. the gorilla gardeners, the guys that are going out, it's a lot easier to carry dries than liquids, guys. Very true. You know, you got to get on Liquids it. are great, too. Uh, <laughs> contact any one of the Vermicrop Vermi Organics distributors to learn more about all the great products. Can, can you just give us a line of the products? Is it Grow, Bloom, Boost? What is it? Yeah, exactly. There's a uh, Vermi Veg, Veg Fertilizer, Vermi Bloom, Bloom Fertilizer, a PK Boost. That's a soluble organic hardener and ripener, which we haven't seen in our industry before. And then a uh, all-purpose fertilizer. So a great complete line, everything you need to grow. And uh, I would always say it complements very well with some liquids as well, such as General Organics. Well, how... How check, check. how does it work for indoor gardeners? Because a lot of guys don't like to use organics because some of the sources are stinky, so they don't use them indoors. Are, are these extremely stinky? Are they mainly for outdoor guys? What? No, they can be used both indoor or outdoor. You know, they are organics. So there always could be a stink, of course. But uh, if you're a true gardener and your passion is plants. I just tell the customer that smells like money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you like the smell of money, you like the smell of this fertilizer. Because it right. works fantastic indoors and outdoors. Um, it, it's about the plants. It's not about your, your smell and your room. Well, you know, some of us do have wives and women. That we want to come over. They, they, they say that until you give them a nice present with the money you made off it. So remember, buy your girl diamonds with the money you make off the shit. I still get told, off. fuck, you don't buy a shit. You smell like a shot. <laughs> <laughs> you All buy right. her some shoes so she can walk out on you. Okay, right, yeah. right now, Will, where do they go to learn more about those products? Vermicrop.com. Call us on our uh, 800 number, 800 994 8775. You can always ask for me, Will. Love talking gardening, and uh, we will always hook you up with some free stuff if you want to call in and try our stuff out. Nice. Russ, you had something to say? Yeah, I heard a couple times earlier, you know, that our industry is a niche industry, and, uh, you know, you can't really get in here unless you're invited. Mm-hmm. And I agree with you. This is a niche industry. It, it was like that. It, it kind of was. It is. People it, go I, through I, the ringer. I, I, I have to say, though, 
What? what? <laughs> Easy, Chris. No. I mean, that My might bad. not be expensive for you, but for us, it costs a lot of damn money, player. <laughs> that's not the Chinese knockout. That's the real that's deal. That's the too. real deal. <laughs> but the stand is an extra 400 bucks. <laughs> I, I, I have to say that I don't know a better invitation into this industry than if it comes from Larry Brook. Yes. Larry Brook invited yeah, Jim it. Hagedorn and Chris Hagedorn and the SMG and the Hawthorne family into this industry. And I have to say that he would not have done that if he didn't feel it was great, wonderful, and amazing for the people of this industry, this industry itself, and gardeners. Well, he's made multiple $100 million companies, not just that he owns, but the people he associates with for one hydro farm. And I'll back that up with everybody says, you know, what – what you know, Larry Brook took a big check. Everybody sold out. Blah blah. Sold no, out. No one, no one in this industry, not one person, and I, I will challenge anybody, has been more. For 130 bucks, I'll cut my dick off and try to glue it back on. 130 bucks. <laughs> 130 dollars. I've got it in my wallet. <laughs> Fuck, I, I got that <laughs> shit. 130, 130 here, 135, 135 it, in the going, 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 going. No, but seriously, the, the more giving to the cause, the real roots. Of this industry than Lawrence Brook. Lawrence Brook. Put the more giving. Put the power in and the and right the people's money. hands and and, Larry, I, and I'm talking about green tomatoes here. Yes. More giving and more charitable to the cause yes. of this industry than Lawrence Brook. Yes. Absolutely. And, and, and absolutely right. And that's why he hasn't been allowed to come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> PR said no. Yes, no, but awesome gentleman. Great, great um, dude to talk with. Does sincerely have altruistic um uh an altruistic agenda of perpetuating the cause. I don't think he would enter into this deal unless he wasn't of sound mind, but Larry is as sharp as ever. Ross can testify, Matt can testify, yep. Chris, everyone, that this is good for the industry, everyone. You're in the middle of a green rush. Enjoy selling uh, the, the pickaxes and the shovels That's to right. all the people thinking they're mining gold because you're the real ones that are going to get rich and you know have some longevity. Uh, some continuity of what you have already been doing. So, a big round of applause to the guests coming in and being very candid with heavy us. Heavy tea. Thank, Thank you, so heavy much. tea. Thank you very Thank much. You. And Marty Thank you for appreciate it. Good shit, good Thanks, shit. Man. We do have a matter of a grand prize to give out, which includes... No, come on, bro. Give me some uh, Olympic music. What are they going to get? What are they getting? It includes getting? a thousand watt grow light from... Grow light. <laughs> 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 G R O W L I T grow light. That's right. A combo meter from Blue Lab. That's a three hundred uh, dollar value. Some of the brand new Coco Tech A and B, both the grow and the bloom from G H F. Coco specific nutrient with all the calcium and magnesium your cocoa plants need. Hold on, getting a note from Matt over here. Let me see. I'm not doing anything except trying to do a show. Your handwriting is horrible. I'm only here so I don't False. Get so it's a. It says reminder. Spend ten times more on heavy tea. Give him misinterpretation. <laughs> power grower. Why don't you just talk? You got a microphone. Yeah. Yeah, get a power grower too. You get a power grower. <laughs> yeah. Will Will Matt throw in some shit on top of this guy's shit? All right. That's a power grower. And you get a men of GH calendar. Um, yes. It's gonna be oh, amazing. Yeah. Look Whoa. for May. That's Devin. You have an honorary <laughs> membership to the Illuminati. We have a granddaddy pad. We'll throw on <laughs> a throw in a box of new dry organic fertilizer. Your own I was private about as condo well. in the uh, reestablishment community we under have, the Denver International Airport. We have Airport some Terpenator on, Chris, on Chris's credit card. All right, turn everyone's mic up. Uh, ticket to the Horde Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Get those chemtrails. We have some Terpenator, some Smart Pots, some FDS, and some RNA. It's not every day you get to turn the mic off of 100 millionaires. But I did because I'm heavy tea. That's my shit. Yeah, dog. Yeah, so what? I can afford the mat under the carpet. Yeah, my back's hurting. I'm fat. What? Chicken butt. Anyways, so Horty Chris, after all this, what's the grand prize question? The grand prize question is, where am I celebrating my birthday this weekend? <sighs> you didn't even say it. Yes, I did. Peru? Everybody knows. Colombia. No, you called it. Costa Rica. Yeah, somewhere like that. It's a. It's somewhere that's going to be fascinating on four. It's in a free state. There's your clue. There you the, go. One of the free states of America. Where's Horty Chris celebrating the Horty Apocalypse? Five six two six five three zero seven zero seven. Phone lines are now open. Big thank you to all of our guests. Awesomeness. We're gonna go out get more saved. A, l- a little bit more drunk. Try and take these guys to the dirtiest strip club they ever seen. Cali Breeze, you got that right. 
Dog, this, <laughs> this is the strip club that you go to the trap house in Compton, but it's all right because you was Heavy T, and Heavy T's got a hood pass. Right, Cali Breeze? And the tuna melt's only three ninety five Cal- there, and they toast it. Cali Breeze got chopped up by an AK-47. This ain't no fucking, ain't no one to fuck with here. All right, here we go. DFZradio.com. Run for your lives! It's the Terminator! No, no, it's not the Terminator, it's the Terpinator! Oh wow, what's that? Oh, you haven't heard? You have to try this stuff. The Terpinator is the newest creation from Rhizofloro Incorporated. It's the one and only product on the market that has proven to increase the concentration of terpenes in your aromatic plant oils and glands. How does this Terpinator work? The Terpinator works by utilizing fundamental plant metabolites through a proprietary reaction that catalyzes the increase in terpene production. Its unique composition provides the basic building blocks plants are required to produce flavorful oils and a significant increase in terpenes, which will increase your aromas and flavors. Nice. I bet with all the increase in terpene content, your plants must just be covered in resins. Oh man, I'm currently using products right now that's designed to increase the resins. Should I swap them out? Well, that's correct. Terpenator works great alongside other products, but it's the only product out there that is going to give you a higher terpene content. Having a higher terpene content means bigger glands and increasing gland sites, which makes a dramatic difference in appearance as well as more pungent odors. Terpenes are not only your aromatic plant oils, but your plant's genetic fingerprint as well. Those terpenes boost your plant's natural defense mechanism against insects and mold. I really want to try this product. Does it have any harmful chemicals or PGRs? Heck no. The Terpenator utilizes only organic inputs and produces notably amazing results in a matter of weeks. It is both a soil and hydroponic system friendly fertilizer that is compatible with any nutrient line out there. It is recommended to use this product during your entire flowering cycle starting from the first week of bloom at 15 milliliters. However, there has been a lot of feedback of people getting amazing results when bumping it up to 30 milliliters per gallon the last three weeks of bloom. Wow, this is the ultimate game changer. Dude, I have to get Terpinator. How do I get this stuff? To increase dry weight, smell, taste, and a complete overall quality of your flowers, go to www.terpinator.com and make it AAA today. You're, you're never going to be in my, my category of bitches, Adolf. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be farming at the valet spot. Hey, hey Dr. Duff, are you yeah. signing up for another one of those internet dating sites after your divorce? No, I'm just ordering these freaking uh, douchebags from China here. Just going to be saving a lot of money on it. About a buck a bag. Did, did you say douchebags? Yeah, they're pots. They're fabric pots. They're, uh, you know, made in China. You know, they save a dollar a bag from all the other... Oh, it sounds like an imitation smart bot or something. Yeah, yeah, I'll save a dollar, but you know, I'm pretty sure these douchebags are gonna work. Dude, I had a buddy of mine who used those same douchebags. He bought them direct from China. It killed his whole garden. Oh, uh, bro, what? So, I'm better off spending that extra dollar on a smart bot. I'd get a smart bot. <sighs> Don't be a duff man. Make sure to buy the original patented smart pot. Check them out at smartpots.com. I'm talking about Heavy Tea's Grow Show, baby. Practicing Kung Fu. Oh, Danielson, uh, you must know how to use CO2 in your garden. How do we do it? You go to greenpadco2.com to check out the oh. Green Pad and Green Pad Union. Oh, yeah. Green Pad. More CO2 will bring you peace and tranquility to your life and to your garden. Cotton, green pod. Green pod and green pod junior. Junior. Green pod. right. Go now. You buy now or forever, you will be sad. 
or forever suffer gunning. Oh. Oh, Confucius say those who don't use green pad are stupid asshole. Oh, stupid asshole. Confucius say more CO2 is better in your garden than your son. Oh, Confucius always say 30, 50 percent for humidity. Oh, try green pad and green pad junior at greenpadco2.com. We were the wrong. Oh, hi, Billy. What can I help you with today? Well, Tina, it's my plants. I've been trying to get them healthier by using foliar sprays, and I'm just not getting the improvements I was hoping. I understand. Did you hear that? Yeah, it's getting louder. It's Optic, Optic Foliar Guy. That's right. Crap, look what he did to my ceiling. Have you heard of my Optic Foliar line of ready-to-use foliar sprays? Gosh, I guess not. Well, I guess it's about time you did. Start with Optic Foliar's Transport. It's a revolutionary delivery agent that helps get the ingredients in your sprays directly into the plant through the leaf surface. Unlike other sprays, it can be used with the lights on and without adjusting the pH. Wow, that sounds amazing. It sure is, Billy. Using Optic Foliar's watts, you can help your plants use the energy provided by sunlight or HID lights, leading to an exponential increase in growth, which produces bigger yields. And what's the easiest way to provide additional nutrition for plants using watts? Optic Foliar's Rev. Rev provides additional nutrients needed to maintain higher growth rates, resulting in greener, healthier plants. Jay Wilkers, do you have anything to help correct deficiencies? The new Optic Foliar Overgrow not only corrects deficiencies, but also provides increased performance. Overgrow prevents and combats problems that attack your leaves, ensuring you always get a healthy harvest. Jiminy, it sounds like you have the solution to all my foliar needs. That's right, Billy. When you use transport with watts, rev, and overgrow, you can expect improved health and increased yields. Better yields are only a spray away. Thanks, Optic Foliar guy. Well, I'm off. There are more plants that need my help. No, wait. Hey, man, the door works, you know. Optic Foliar. Transport, rev, watts, and now overgrow. The complete foliar system that will dramatically improve your plant's health and harvest. For more information, go online to opticfoliar.com. Say so you're big time, huh? Yeah, kinda. From Manila to Mendo, Santiago to San Diego, the war rages on. Everywhere, gardeners struggle against the chains of tyranny. Growers fight for their inalienable right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of higher yields. Voices around the world are raised in a chorus exclaiming, no more. No more weak potting soils. No more trying to grow plants in a soil that doesn't have enough nutrients to sustain life. The people are rising up, rising up and demanding sanctuary soils, Victory brand superior garden mix. Victory Garden Mix, a blend of the best composted forest humus, peat moss, and perlite. Victory Garden Mix, teeming with worm castings, humic shale ore, fish, shrimp, crab, and kelp meal. Victory Garden Mix. Rich with dolomite and gypsum lime, glacial rock dust, oyster shell, and azomite. The people cry out in unison, proclaiming, we demand the freedom to grow the best plants possible in the best soil available. Sanctuary soil is answering your call, freeing you from the shackles of inferior soils. Sanctuary soil's victory brand superior garden mix. The best, highest quality planting mix available anywhere is now available to you by the bag or by the truckload. For more information, contact your local hydroponics store or go online to SanctuarySoil.com. Sanctuary Soil's Victory Brand Superior Garden Mix. Because together, we can grow it. We're listening to EFC Radio. Bitch better have my money.
money. I don't charge by the inch, I charge by the foot. Think I'm lying, bitch, here, take a look. 100% USDA grade AB. Here's my card, call me. You look like you ain't been pumped in a while. Pick up the motherfucking phone and dial and have your money in a big ass stack. I'm swinging this dick like a new jack. Bitch. So. Position pronto, you're on the clock. You can suck the diggity dick, but I'ma charge you a knot. Bitch, your ass on over and touch your toes. Hold your breath, cause I'ma hold my nose. This dick of mine ain't friendly, baby. Did Max and Greg bail? They're oh, uh, mad just went outside from Max and Greg. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there blows the cover there of the Heavy Tea Show. Welcome back, Cotter. It's uh, the f- everybody's favorite part of the show after the fucktard segment, which we didn't have tonight. So it's the grand prize giveaway. You and don't the- have a quick fucktard for us? No, nah, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm on my A game. Acquisition. <laughs> um, <laughs> no one's going to remember. I'm this. even not cursing as often as Before I normally do. Before we do the grand prize um, giveaway, what? Ken, we do, you and me, man, we've come a long way in the last five years doing this show together. Absolutely. And, you know... We got here because of Vinny Stone. Can we just give a heads up to Vinny Stone? No, we don't. Round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's that bullshit? Okay, I got a fuck card for you. Yeah, but can we do it? M-E-T. <laughs> <laughs> can we do a shot together in honor yeah. of your 45th birthday? Thanks, man. You sent me, you, you me an f tar earlier in the week. You don't got it? No, I'm good. Cheers. Thank you. Let's get this grand prize done. I want to go home. Okay. I got a haircut appointment in the morning. Do it, Willis. Where am I celebrating my birthday this weekend? The clue is it's a free state. You can name the state or the city. And it is also known and trending on social media everywhere as Horty Apocalypse 2015. Now, are you going to let my confusion join but not Mills? Or are they both invited? Who's Mills? Chris. Oh, oh, yeah, he can come. He'll as long as he pitches in on the party favors. <laughs> Which, you know, if he comes, I'm going to have to have an extra pack of smokes. Because he's going to be like, hey, Horty, can you know one of those smokes? Like, you don't even smoke. Well, I do when I'm hanging around you. Can you know two? what? You know what's good is that we may have Mills and DNA come on, DNA Aaron, talking about uh, genetics and strains and, and certain things in the next few weeks, too. Um, it looks like we're going to have Botanicare next week, which is which is going to be awesome. You're working on Ron Finley? Yes, I'm going to bring Ron Finley back to the show to talk about his guerrilla gardening, which has been a big part of the organic grow your own at home uh, movement in this country. No yep. doubt about it. All right. One last time. The question. Where am I celebrating my birthday this weekend? It's a free state. You can name the state or the city within that state. Otherwise known as Horty Apocalypse 2015. And we're going to line number one. Juan from Tejas. Juan. Colorado. Colorado. Oh, What's the city? What's the city? What city in Colorado? Denver. Boom! Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, homie, you just got hooked up with the Cocoa Tech Grow A and B Bloom A and B from GH for growing all your cocoa plants. Some smart pots to put your cocoa in. I'm also going to send you some of the FDS and RNA from Uber. You want to grow that fire? Uber provides the gas. Smart pots as well. The pattern of fabric pot. Green pads. Give them the square square. Rain and CO2 down on your garden. Combo meter from Blue Lab. The Damn. longest and hardest warranty in the market. That's why I get your Blue Lab on.com. Which size grow light? Which size light bulb? What size? 600, 1000. 1000. Red or blue? Uh, Blue. We're going to send you that 1,000-watt metal halide. We're going to send you some of that Turpinator making a AAA, bringing out the full genetic expression of your fruits and flowers. <laughs> Buddy. <Yeah. laughs> hey, Juan. Cool. I got a question for you. What's that? Every Wednesday night from 6 to 10 Pacific Standard Time, who's hooking you up with the dopest grow knowledge and the freshest grow gear? That would have to be... The Grow Show, DFZ Radio, hanging with the dirt. 
<laughs> you are definitely <laughs> derping. <laughs> hey, stay, sa- stay, 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 stay safe. Stay safe in Texas. Hey, Mike. Oh, Mike in L.A. I was just uh, going to give you all the Coco Tech and shirts you needed, playa. You lose. All right. Man, big thanks to our Woo! guests. Tonight, huh? What a show. What, what a, a good show. show. You know, the, we got a little loose in the end. Enjoying hanging out with all the guys. Real people here, guys. Real talk. That's right. Um, I wholeheartedly believe everything that they're 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 telling me, and unless I see otherwise and make myself a fool, I'll be the hardest critic on myself if that happens. And straight up, this is the real deal. Holyfield going down. Mike's calling back. It <laughs> is a green rush. That's right. It's Don't the cop beginning. Some- all you gardeners out there that are doing your thing proper, get your brand right. Right now, you have 12 to 24 months. Get your brand right to go legitimate. If all the all the shop owners enjoy the influx of customers you're going to have as things go the right way and legalities change. They're going to come into your store in groves. Be ready. Have the right product on the shelves that you can make sure you tell people to use. That, that you can believe in. General Hydro, Vermicrop are one of those products, okay? Also, look at exclusive deals with certain nutrient companies that specialty nutrients that people want. Look at exclusive deals. Get these locked in now. Don't be scrambling a year or two from now. We told you. And, and on the other end, all the vendors, distributors. <coughs> Listen, if you sell a good product, you're going to be dom- dominating. If you sell the BioWave... <laughs> you're going to go out of business. <laughs> Henry, your sales rep from BioWave calls my fucking sales rep, and you want to yell at her and say that she's bothering you? Henry, your stupid BioWave is bullshit. Check it out. If I wanted my plants to perk up with sound and vibrations, which is proven, Yale, Harvard, <coughs> a couple other prestigious schools have done uh, successful studies that show Vibration from music actually makes the plants do better. Opens up the stomata. You should play Reggae Shark for your plants. Yeah. Reggae your, Shark. Your $2,000 stupid little machine that anyone with a half a machining, machining class at community college can make. You are the fucktard of the week, Henry. Check it yeah. out. Anyone running a biowave? Shame on you. Worst product in the history of mankind next to... That Kiko machine thing. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. There's some chalk that we could tie to our plants that regenerates it. God damn it. It's amazing. Don't bl- this is the miracle list show. Because there ain't no miracles here by tying fucking goddamn chalk or putting little fucking spinny things in your room. Speaking of chalk. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. I got an appointment. I, party. I, can't an ap- I, I have an appointment I can't miss. It's my birthday month. I haven't even been to sleep yet. Oh, shit. Turned up. Listen, if you're using a biowave, every one of your friends should just smack you in the fucking face right now. Yeah, check it out. My plants are healthier because of the things spinning in the room. No, check it out. Your plants are healthier because you've been gardening for so long. Your experience has grown, and you know how to garden better. Give yourself some fucking credit. Don't give it to the little fucking welded together little fucking spirits. We fucking use the spirits. bio wave to play beer pong. You just throw the pong balls into the spinning thing and shoot out and hope they hit a cup. <laughs> I, I the bio wave in my store is known as the bio gay. Damn. Because well, actually, because Doctor Duff uses it. And up he, his butt. True. And he's bisexual, so I could say that. He's not. trisexual. He'll try anything. But yeah, Doctor <laughs> Duff uses the uses the biowave. You should use it too. And Check despite it out. what Will told you, do not use your money to buy your girl diamonds. What you do is you push her out of bed when she's sleeping, so she knows the man of her dreams can't save her. Because that's Hordy's what? That's Pimpin Hordy's one one. That's right. Hold on. Check it out. Biowave.com. Give me that one sound effect. That's emotion. Oh, oh my bad. Biowave? Come on. Biowave? That's what I think of Biowave. Nigga, that's that bullshit. They got me fucked up. Oh, wait, turn down a little bit. Duff Free Nation, bombard Henry at Biowave with your emails telling this shit is bullshit. And not to waste my fucking time one more second with this dumb shit fucking sales rep contacting me about my show. I ain't gonna sell your bullshit. Tell me that you want me to call you. What the fuck are you talking about? This is a courtesy call. 
the sales rep knew she wouldn't have called you anyway because I said, that's some bullshit. Look how heavy she flicked his wrist. Look how he flicked his wrist. wrist. <laughs> Look at the flick of the wrist. Anyways, now's the time for the artist formerly known as GLTV to do the recap. That's right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for the happy birthday G. wishes. G.H. Hawthorne, Vermicrop, everyone. Apocalypse 2015. Peace, I'm Jeff out. Jeff Edwards, Emily, all the people. Yeah, peeps. man. Shout out to Heavy T. Horty Apocalypse is going yeah. down in Denver. We got Dangerous Duffman running around loose in the studio to eat. Oh, man, he better be careful when Duffman's on the loose. Shout out to Vinny the Stone Man, you feel me? That's right. He doing his stuck there's in the green room, too. Shout out to, you know, Bill holding down the phones. Yeah. Shout out to Cali Breeze holding down That's the right. phones, too. Billy the Kid, you feel me? That's Cali my guy. Hey, it's your boy Cali and Tay Breeze, man. You feel me? We are the artists known as Get Loaded TV. Yeah, Duff, man, what it do, man? What it do, Duff? I'll be sneezing. You be sneezing? I'll be right, yeah. sneezing. All right, oh, no, man, man. That's, that's cool. Uh, yeah, hey, man, we had an awesome show, man. A lot of great callers. You feel me? Calling to ask some some wonderful questions, man, to our guests, huh? Right. This was the industry show that everybody in the industry's been waiting for. You know what I'm saying? Like this has been the controversy, the what's going on in social media and hydro, yeah, hydro talk in the shops, the Pacquiao Mayweather, yeah. To the you know the hydro shop owners, yes, this is a very big deal, and I'm yes, glad sir. you know they came to you know address the yeah. situation they and came with it, and they were here to talk and be open to any question, which is you know that's you know you can't go wrong with that. You know they sat in here and they took any question that came, yeah, and you know you can't go wrong. You know they gave the right answers. I think it's cool. You know GH, you know Vermicrop. crop, yeah, they definitely made a good move. And no, it's it's a good move for the hydro industry. Uh, you couldn't have said it any better, Saint. You feel me? That's right. Hey, it, it, it takes a, you got to have big balls, man, to just sit up here and be able to just you know what I'm saying take whatever's coming at you. And they did that, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to G H. You feel me? They did the thug thizzle tonight. You feel me? Heavy T's grow show. I want to thank everybody that called. You feel me? All those wonderful hydro shops that tuned in. You feel me? Yeah. Hey, and also, hey, I want to just thank our sponsors, huh? That's right, man. I want to give a shout out to all the sponsors of DFCRadio.com. Yeah. You know, like General Hydro, Turpinator. Come on. Green Pads. Make Uber. sure you get your C2, CO2 up. Yeah. Botanic Care, you feel me? That's right. Check out HDI, too, with, you know, their Clonex. Come they on, got a lot of great, pots. you know, Europonic Silica. Grow Light. Optic Foliar. Come on, man. You know, Grow Light, man. They got them bulbs. They got the True Blue. They got the Real Red. Yeah. They got the hood, they got karma. the original. Oh, yeah, they got the karma. Come on, man. Sanctuary soil, you feel me? That's right. Make sure you check out that Mission Fertilizer also if you want to stay organic. Terpinator. Or you can check out the Botanicare line, also the Geo Box. Come on. Hey, make sure you check out that Blue Lab because you're going to need to make sure your pH is right. You got the right PPM and the temperature in your water. Get it right. Because that's going to separate you from all the mother amateur growers. Come on. Come on. Optic foyer. You feel me? That's right. Hey, man. We got a lot of great sponsors, man. We, we, we definitely appreciate all of you guys. Without you, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be us. That's ah. right. Hey, Heavy T Grow Show Saint, man. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, uh, we, we out. out.